What's going on guys and welcome to City Skylines, a game I've been going on about now for about a year saying that it is coming to YouTube. Season 1 is about to start. We are going to be jumping in and you better believe we are ready for Skylines 2. I've got my mods ready and if you are interested in the mods that I've got, I will put a link in the description. We'll take you straight to the Steam page so you can download the collection. And we're going to be on the Table Mountains map with the theme of Coastal and yes, that will be in the collection as well. And there we go. We are now in. We can see the traffic moving along this highway right here. Going over this junction, which is going to be our entrance. We can see our first, basically our uh, first arterial road going in here. Uh, so we need to figure out what we want to do. We do have a train line that comes along here that is in our first starting area. You can see the boundaries are just over here across the bridge. And so is this. Uh, so we have a train bridge. We have the highway bridge here. Um... And we have a little bit of a starting area kind of going around these little mountainous ranges here. And eventually we will have access to all of these uh, around us once we start unlocking the tiles and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but for now, we have this area to deal with. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we're going to put down our first little road we've got to, just then we can bulldoze it and unlock all of our new items and stuff. I'm thinking of extending this road along here. Uh, I don't know if to maybe put like a roundabout here, maybe, because uh, one can go over this side, one can go over here, and then one can come back on us this way. Uh, because I have a feeling that with this junction here, and especially coming up with some stops here, we need some some fluid motion, especially when it comes to later game and we can preemptively prepare for some traffic. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this road along a little bit further and then we're going to turn it ever so slightly, just like this. And then we have a two lane inbound and outbound. And then we're just going to, let's quickly pause the game actually here before I start getting cost on maintenance and stuff. Um, so let's get uh, a two lane... Should we do two lane? No, let's do a three lane one way. Um, and then we can kind of play around with some stuff here. So I want to start off with 10, maybe five on each side. No, let's do 12. And then let's go six this side, six that side. And then we're just going to change this to curve mode and bring this down and connect these up just like this. And then just delete the insides. We've got our first little roundabout. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to get our two lane one way, which I think we might have unlocked. I do. So let's get that on and let's turn off. Uh, I want Anarchy on. I kind of want to get this to snap, say, around here. And then we're going to do the same here as well. And then we can kind of use the node controller um, and kind of start changing this up a little bit. So I'll allow the cars to be a little bit smoother on the entrance. And we can just move this here as well. Uh, like I said, all the mods are in the description. So, and uh, we're just grabbing it from the uh, unified UI up here. And we're just going to move this around a little bit. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Got, it's, it's a little bit more uh, of a smoother turn. And then later down the line, we'll come and decorate all this and all that kind of stuff. But we have priorities. I'm thinking of maybe just putting the industrial down here uh, for now. And then maybe just some residential over here and start spreading. Oh, we could just take it straight up there, maybe. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so let's just get a two-way street and kind of just put you straight up there. And I'm going to take this kind of like around this general area, say around there. And then we're going to do the same on this side. I'm going to bring this as close as I can up here. And then we're going to do the same here. So I want to get the... Uh, should I get the two? Technically, it's going to be a one. All this will get changed eventually because I know traffic's going to be a little chaotic. So let's go from here and let's just kind of attach this to there and attach that to there. And then we're going to do the same here as well. Bring that to here. Like this. And then we're just going to make sure that all of our one ways are going in the correct direction. And then you're coming on the inside like that. Then for our industrial, I'm just going to bring this down here. And I think we could just kind of bend it in this direction. I think the best thing to uh, honestly do is maybe put like a one way that comes onto this junction here. So they'll automatically turn off because the industry is always going to go onto the highway, right? Most of the time, uh, unless they're going from another industry to another industry. Um, so I think we, if we connect this road up here, then make sure, make sure it's a one way that the traffic that's coming up here will use the roundabout to get into the industry and then it'll come off this side. So then this is not being congested up with residential, commercial and stuff because we don't want to chop this up too much 
yet. And then I'll just get like a street off this here. I'm kind of, eh, maybe I'll put this as a straight maybe like this and then bring this down and then just kind of follow the road with it like we did with the other one like that. And then we'll just get a one way and connect that up to there so they can only exit this way. And maybe you only make them turn right to exit instead of going back up here to go to the, the uh, roundabout. For the street wise, let's take this road up here. Let's say here. Does it really matter where? And then we'll just kind of maybe come off with some form of small grid right now. And the commercial will kind of work with what we've got. Kind of put this here. These are probably going to get annoyed because of the, the train coming down this side. And then we've obviously we've got the the highway. We might have to put some sound barriers or something up. Um we don't know just yet so let's kind of just make some small streets um maybe i will connect this up to the industry here let's put that there yeah because then they got the entrance to the industrial area then okay so we've got like the industrial down here we've got the residential kind of here we, we will need a lot more but for now it's fine so let's kind of start getting our first little sections down here and i'm just wondering where do we want so let's kind of just go around this end road here and then all of this on the inside let's paint this like so and then maybe if i go that way these are on the end or an oh misclick uh they're not actually a part of that section and then over here we'll get the residential and then we're just going to put it into these couple of locations here and then we'll get a couple of what commercial down the front here but i do want to kind of eliminate it from maybe this road here because i don't want vehicles to turn into here and pull into a store there because it causes some traffic sometimes but i'm just going to kind of leave it for that that, that right now and then we're going to put down a coal factory i guess as a temporary thing we'll just throw that down there and then for water wise what have we got and which way is the flow of water so it's going downstream here so we want to grab our water source from over here let's uh let's just dump it there and then let's put our poop all the way down oh this this is interesting put our poop down here in this little ginnel and then just connect all of our pipes And there we go. Now it's just all we need to wait for is just for the residents to move in and the buildings to grow. And we have our first houses being built. So let the town rise. And there we have it. Our little beetle, which is our first resident. Who is this actually? Who is that? Oh, <gasps> wait. Why? Wait, I was too busy doing cinema. <laughs> Why have I not got poop water? Oh, are they just on the edge? No, they can't be. Wait. Huh? Have I got a Nord issue here? Possibly. All right, so it did seem that we did have a Nord issue. Because I left Anarchy on down here, what happened was, was the sewage pipe down here didn't actually physically connect to this Nord, which was the problem. There was getting water, but it just wasn't being able to flush the poop. <laughs> So I'm highly curious to see how this junction is going to work down here, um, especially coming straight off the highway with some traffic lights. I have my doubts, but I'm uh, I, I'm going to let it cook and just see how it happens. Um, our little town here, we definitely gonna need a lot more residential. So I'm more than likely going to pull some residential up here and take it along this way uh, for sure. I'm more than likely going to extend this road out here uh, a little bit. Right, it's right next to the train track and it's definitely... <laughs> They're gonna they're gonna be a little bit noisy. That would be the best way to kind of put it. Oh, I don't have much money left, do I? Totally forgot about that. Let's speed up time here and hopefully we can get some cash. Because we need technically 400 residents for a little hamlet. Have we got enough resident space? Maybe I need to let's just extend now. Let's just kind of extend this bit and eh, eh, that bit. Get a couple more houses built, I guess. And hopefully that pushes us to the actual next section. Oh, I need to put the pipes down. <gasps> Please tell me we're not going to fail straight up. <laughs> I'm just watching my money tick up down here, and I'm just waiting for this to get to, get to positive. Please get to positive. But then these will start shouting at me and start leaving. So fingers crossed, we're getting closer to 400, so I can get that 20 grand, 20 grand uh, 
like boost and i can kind of give these <laughs> some water and be able to poop let's see if this will help i'm gonna get this because these have got water here and i think i'm just gonna put some houses along it where's my water right now okay i've got water here so let's kind of uh, where's my residential there i'm just gonna put residential on this little road here and hopefully that helps as well we're about to go into plus and we just need 150 what six fifty five more people Okay, we're about to go into positive. There we go. Okay, at least we're gaining money now, but I don't know for how long whilst these guys are getting very, very angry at me. Okay, let's see if we can help these residents here by putting a few trees just between the the highway and the actual residential zone. Maybe that will help a little bit. It just won't be good in, if there's a fire breakout, right? Because it will fire spread all to down these and then to these houses as well. <laughs> we're on negative 5,000. And the money is slowly going up and we are ever so close to getting that 20 grand. Come on. Seven more people. Six more people. Seven, six, six, five, four, two, three, <laughs> two. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We got it. Oh, okay. Right. So we got the extra 20 grand. Well, we've got 15 grand to play with, but we definitely need to put more residential down. And just as people know as well, is in under TMPE. Uh, I have got the disabled despawning on as well. I do like a bit more of a challenge with the um, the traffic. And I've also got enabled advanced vehicle AI and dynamic lane selection onto 70% and enabled more realistic parking. Um, and it's going to give a bit more of a, a challenge later on for sure, but we'll get to it when we get to it right so first up let's extend the water lines down here and get these to the residents that are complaining about it and uh, i do like to put my pipelines under the roads as you can see because it's technically correct right um and next up i want to start working on additional roads here can i just kind of like swing this onto there just like that and then look at adding some streets down here it's a bit of a pain trying to work with the the terrain here okay it was a little bit too dark for my liking so i've just put it to daytime because i think it'll be better for you guys as well so let me know in the comments if you would like the day and night cycle to be on um and if you want me to only build during the day so please let me know for that uh in case for future reasons uh but for right now i want to change it to daytime and for road's sake i'm just wondering what we want to do here do we want to do like a bypass road here um and because eventually this will become a double and then this as well these houses won't be here as well um so let's maybe just kind of play around with something here and just see what comes out of it make sure i can get more houses in here pull that into that i think we are going to get some houses on these kind of hills here uh so let's kind of join these end bits and then let's get some more residential in here and hopefully this will help our situation out because i can't believe it. i've not done that in a while it's been a while since i played skylines i played it on stream for a couple of hours the other day to kind of get used to it a little bit because i tell you what it's been a good old minute and i'm looking forward to the adventure that's going to come from this so it's the start of quite a few videos i can tell you that for certain <laughs> okay so with this new residential i'm thinking i'm actually going to evict these people down here um these ones on this road and i think i'm going to put some commercial down here okay there we go these should now eventually turn to commercial over here um but then we're also going to need an actual landfill in here as well aren't we because it's gonna get stinky and we can already see the demand for the garbage as well so I'm just going to stick it down here for now. And eventually I'll put it on like a dirt road or something. And uh, we'll get some recycling plants as well. Okay, let's put a couple of commercial down there. We've got a bit of a demand for it. Uh, but also, oh, we don't have the, enough for the medical clinic and the school. Uh, well, the elementary school. Uh, how much do I need for that again? I can't remember. 10,000. And then for the medical clinic, we're going to need 10,000 as well. And we're currently only sitting on 8,000, but gaining 1,000. A week. That's not bad. Um, okay, so it's just a matter of currently saving for an additional 13,000 so we can uh, get the clinic. Bada bing, bada boom. Clinic down. Now I'm back to enough zero in cash. And things are starting to, you know, pick up a little bit. We've got a tiny little town. And this is how all towns kind of start small <laughs> oh and we've just got worthy village as well nice we've just gotten some more money we've just got the emergency services police department unique buildings we've got districts now we can pull out a lawn but we don't want to do that forestry specializations we can start working on the farmland self-sufficient buildings and we've got some new well the firehouse the police station 
and all oh high capacity elementary school police security center fire se wait these are just part of the dlcs right because i do own all the dlcs but to be fair it's only small but it's my small <laughs> and uh i think we're gonna call this one here so check out my other content right here and uh hopefully you're looking forward to the journey of our city growing and what we do in the future because each episode i do kind of want to do little districts uh, and that will cover one video so without further ado like i said check out my other content right here and as always keep smiling and i'll see you in another video